I'm so happy to be back in Caruaillo, in the, in the northern cone of Lima in Peru. We're about to start our annual meetings, uh, but we wanted to come here first. Uh, this is where I came first in 1993, and we began working then with patients who were suffering from multi-drug-resistant tuberculosis. We have Melquiades here and, and Julia, and these were two patients that I saw in 2005. Uh, they were both gravely ill, and in 1995, when we first started the treatment program, the entire world was saying it's not possible. They were saying it's too complicated, the drugs are too expensive. Uh, the poor in Peru, suffering from drug-resistant tuberculosis, will simply have to die. You know, we've seen other declarations just like that. Well, things have changed. We at the World Bank uh, group have changed. But we should never forget the lessons that we learned from Melquiades and Julia. They were so ill, and the pills at first made them even more ill but they continue to take their medicines. They continue to fight their disease, and look at them today. Uh, they're both working, uh, they're both doing extremely well. Melchiades is even playing soccer, he tells me. So the one thing that will be most dangerous to our efforts to end extreme poverty and to boost shared prosperity is to have low aspirations. Uh, we have to believe that everything is possible. We have to rely on evidence, of course, but we learn from situations like this that when we say things are impossible, uh, we have to think again. We're in the business of development. Nothing should be impossible for us, and we will get to the end of extreme poverty, and we will be able to boost shared prosperity for the bottom 40%. It's Melchiades and Julia who will keep reminding us to never declare that anything is impossible.